Hey guys, Adrian here from the Digital Dojos at digitaldojos.com and today we're taking a look at Window Magnet for OS X. This is available in the App Store and this is a 99 cent, so one dollar application uh, in the App Store that you can check out. That is a, um, a window manager tool, a management tool. Um, if you're familiar with the Windows 7 snapping feature, this is very similar to that for OS X and this is something I really actually enjoyed in Windows and something that's very useful, especially for multi-monitors. Um, not even just multi monitors, but um, even more of that for smaller screens. So if you have like a MacBook Pro or a, a you know you're just using a laptop, a MacBook of any sort, you don't have too much room to manage with, and you know managing your windows and easily uh, you know aligning them and snapping them to grids um, can really help out in that you you can just easily you know manage your windows whether you have a document you need to type up and you need to research on the right side. You know you don't need to manually adjust your windows. Windows Magnet does that for you. Again, it's only 99 cents. I think it's uh, worth it in my opinion. Um, you can check it out again in the App Store. So you can see here, and I'm gonna go ahead and take you through a tour of the actual application real quick. So here we are in the Windows App Store again. You can check it out, and I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this now. So in the top right here, you can see there's this little magnet icon in your uh, top bar here. So I'm gonna click on that. And you see you have all these options right here for your active windows. Whatever window you have active, you can restore it, you can maximize it, and then you can adjust where it goes. It can go left half of your screen, the right half of your screen, top half, bottom half, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, etc. And you can customize all of these with key commands. Along with that, you can also do maximize, restore, ignore, app store, and then of course you have your about and quit. And you have your preferences. I'm gonna go ahead and go into our preferences here to take a look to how what you have in your preferences. Basically, all you have is the ability to change your keyboard shortcuts. So for this example, I have Alt, Command key, left on the arrows or right up and down to adjust my window for the active window where I want it to be. Now let me just give you a quick demonstration of this. So for example here, I'm gonna open up my uh, Firefox page right here so I'm gonna open up my website right here and let's say I wanted this to be at the top I can hit again alt command up or uh, alt sorry click right here alt command or is it alt command sorry control command control alt my bad uh, control alt not the command key uh, control alt and then um, the arrow key so control alt left and that will align it to left right line it to the right top line it to the top and bottom very very simple here. Now I have a huge you know resolution on this iMac. This is a 27 inch. But again, this can be just as useful on a MacBook or a smaller screen of sorts. Now when you when you drag the window, it undoes the alignment and then it goes back to its normal size. So it's really useful in that fact. Again, let's say you have a document and I can just align this to the left. And let's say I open up uh, I don't know iCal and I want this on the right or top right. Uh, I can do that. I can assign it to the top right. And you can see here now I have it split view really that simple rather than manually adjusting windows dragging them in place it really becomes a great productivity tool now the same uh, adjustments you can also do something else where you have the window here and you can drag it so you can drag it to the right you can see it highlights here and I can let go and it aligns it I can drag it to the uh, you can see here I can drag it like this and just maximize it um, in this case I have multiple monitors so when I drag to the left it doesn't exactly just it doesn't do the snapping feature unless I go all the way to the left on my other monitor here but I can also um, you know, just drag it to hotkey corners and then again uh, make it uh, align that way as well. So you don't have to use keyboard shortcuts. But if you're a fan of keyboard shortcuts, I definitely think this program is worth the one dollar. One dollar is nothing. If you have an extra ninety-nine cents in the App Store, check out this app. Uh, it is definitely worth it if you're into window management and you just have a lot of windows or applications open at the same time. You need to kind of see them all visually. You know, this is I just showed you with two windows. It can be with four windows, five windows, etc. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to check out the website at digitaldojos.com for more tech news, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.